Hello everybody, Dantron here with another model kit review. And before we get into this video, I just wanted to say a few things. Number one, this is my first model kit. There are gonna be parts missing. Number two, this is my favorite model kit because it's my first model kit, so please don't disagree. Make fun of it. It's my first, okay? Number three, I did not have clippers at the time in the making of this model kit when I was younger. That's pretty much it. Also, a few other things. Sorry I haven't been posting videos that much with college and all this online colleging and crud. I don't know anymore. I'm confused and work and all that. I hadn't been able to get to my model kit reviews. Also, because of the fact that we are right now in the making of our first stop motion series, which is going to be the Toy Wars series. So sorry about not getting out any stop motions or anything like that. But from now on, there will probably only be one model kit review per week, except for today, because today I'm going to be posting three new model kit reviews of my first three model kits, starting with number one. I hope I don't get sued for copyright for that, but yeah, this is my first model kit, so let's hop right into this. <laughs> so this is the Star Burning Gundam from the Mobile Suit Build Fighters series, I guess, and in, in a way, I don't remember if I'm getting this right, but technically, the Build Fighters series was like, they pretty much, there's kids in the series, they build the model kits, and then they fight with the model kits, and I think in Build Fighters, the if the model kit, for example, say, gets shot in the head, it'll actually take that damage in real life when you get it back. So, yeah. Uh... Anyways, this was my first model kit. I think I got it back in 2015, and I didn't... So, originally when I got this model kit, I thought it was just simply a figurine. I was like, oh, that was cool, because I was dumb, and I didn't read the box. And so I bought it at Barnes & Noble, which is a bookstore, by the way. And I had it for a few years think I didn't build it till like 2018 so it, I had it for about three years and then I finally built it. When I first built this model kit I didn't have clippers so I just snapped out the pieces with my fingers and god my fingers hurt afterwards but it was all worth it in the end to build this. Sadly I have the instructions to show you what I originally did but I crossed out all the instructions so that I knew which parts I had finished and when I finished I was proud of what I had. This is a really old model kit for me now. I have to admit, though, I'm not too pleased with things I did in the past. For example, I'm actually going to show you the biggest problem with this model kit that I messed up with. I also want to say this now. These type of ball joints, I hate them. For some reason, specifically for this model kit, the ball joints are too loose for my model kit, so... And also, when I first built this model kit, I originally broke this piece. As you can see, it's super glued on there because this ball used to be a whole piece, but then I accidentally broke it in half. I don't remember how. No, wait, it might have been two separate pieces. I don't remember. But I glued it back on, and yeah, here it is now. Also, another thing, this model kit is missing some pieces. As you can see right here, there are supposed to be blue pieces that are like right here on the leg as well. But sadly, I lost those a long time ago and also i'm gonna say how well this guy does on stickers i built this when i was young so remember stickers were hard to put on these model kits that's a sticker there that's a sticker there sticker in there sticker in the back of the head no i guess not and i didn't have anything to put them in at the time so this was like my first model kit and i did really good on it well somewhat really good i don't want to do panel lining or anything with this model kit because it's my first one, but I would want to get another one just to remake it. I have clippers now, so I might clean this one off in future, but this is going to be one of the main characters in one of my other stop motions. So, yeah, sorry about not doing these model kit reviews sooner due to the fact of, what, well, like I said, work in college and all that. Oh, more sticker detail. I believe these black things right here are stickers. I, I just poked them the model kit. I don't know why. Yeah, this was my first model kit. Oh, more stickers. Now, I don't know if I want to move on to articulation yet because this one's actually going to be hard with articulation. 
I'll tell you why in a sec, but we're going to move on to weapons and things he comes with. He comes with his normal shield. Yee, as you can see, it's not cleaned. You can see where it came off the runners on, like right here. These just go in the side right here. They aren't the greatest of fits, but they fit. I just don't have them on because I like this put. I hate that. I forgot about that. It does this a lot where this piece likes to come off, but I have to do that anyways for what part of the model I'm going to do. You, you just go over here for now. The shield can go... It can split. Why? Like, you'd think it would break. It's like, why would you want that for your model kit? Well, actually, it's for this. It's so that he can hold the model kit. Now, you're probably wondering, Dantron, what is up with the weird white stuff on there? It's not mayonnaise, I can ensure that. But it's actually tape, because this guy cannot freaking hold his own weapons, and I'm actually going to take the tape off so that you can see it without the tape. Yeah, he can't hold his weapons properly. I'll get to that in a sec, but he does come with fist hands that don't hold on to these correctly. And you can get two of those with the model kit, but as you can tell, neither of them really stay on. By the way, if I sound worn out of it today, it's because I could not get my computer to work, so I'm kind of not in the greatest of moods, but eh, eh, that's life for you. 2020, what do you expect? We'll get through it. Now, this guy comes with two beam savers. I don't have the other one, sadly, with me. I am not gonna say this one was lost to the abyss. In one of my previous stop motions that isn't on YouTube, actually, that I wanted to post on YouTube, but I accidentally deleted, this beam saber was used for one of my gyms, which a Gelgoog ended up picking up, and no one here probably knows what a Gelgoog is, unless if you're a Gundam fan like me, but I really like about this one is that you can take this off and... See how there's that little crack right there? It might be a little blurred, but he can actually put this on his side skirt. It's not actually called the sky side skirt, by the way. It's not too loose of a fit, not too tight of a fit either. It fits perfectly, and you can tell he comes with two because there's one on the other side. Now for the probably the best thing about this model kit, and I am... I forgot what I was doing, is the blaster. The blaster looks nothing like what it's on the box. I think what they were meant to do was this... This piece right here was supposed to be black. And then I think green stickers were supposed to go in these little squares right here. Because as you can see on the box... Move over here real quick for me. It's like that. But now I wanted to move on to the blaster itself. The blaster was really cool when I got this model kit, and I freaked out because I was like, that's a weird-looking blaster, right? It has two barrels on both sides. Well, actually, this is just the blaster in its main form, and then it has its rifle form. How cool is that? Rifle, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh the box is falling over. This is an old box, too, by the way. It's really crumpled because when I was younger, I did not give a crud about anything. Can I have your... Bean saber back. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now let's move on to hands. And my god, this guy is confusing with hands. So, usually when you get Gundam hands, their hands are like this. It has a ball on them, and then you have the hand itself. And as you can see, this is the hand for holding the gun and the beam saber. You get two of these. Where is the other one? Here it is. Hee hee hee. And then you also get a pair of karate hands. The uh, other one's backwards. Oh, I know karate. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm bored. Leave me alone. Then you have the pair of open hands. And then, this is cool, the fist hands. The normal fist hands. Let me... Come on, close up on that. There we go. Which is the coolest thing about that mod this model kit. But as you can see... These parts of the model kit, see how there's no ball joint right there? Yeah, that's because in the hands, here, give me your fist. <clears throat> they wanted to give this guy some more articulation, I'm guessing. I don't know why they did this, but see how the ball joint's right there? Yeah, you have to take that out every time you want to switch the hands. Which is difficult because I'm trying to figure out how to put this guy in my stop motions without having to move around with him that much. Now I know I have a new stop motion studio, so I'm able to edit videos easier, but yeah. I know this is turning out to be a long video, but 
it's my first model kit, so it deserves this. It's not a master grade, it's a high grade. And it's a Gunpla. God, I love this thing. Fun fact about me, actually, most of my Gundams are actually all from the Build Fighters series or the Build Drivers. Any series relating to that are most of my Gundams. Actually, my first three model kits, which I'm going to do all three today, are all from, like, the Build Driver series. For example, one of the other model kits I'm reviewing today is from the build drivers series and then the third one is as well sorry it took so long to say that Whew. but now we're gonna move on to articulation this guy is not pleasant with articulation that might just be because of me but you can see the ball joint in there and it's really annoying arm can't go too far without popping out so as a matter of fact i'm just gonna take that out so you have a full 360 with the arm right there Arm goes back that far, arm goes in that far, has great articulation, swivel here, and as you can see, fist can do that. I don't know why you'd want to do that unless you were doing some kind of weird anime run. Um, I think these weird gold pieces also can come out like brass knuckles, but yeah. Now, the arm can do a full 360, I think, around, yeah, it can. We have a full 360 there. Head can look up that far. That is no joke how far I can get him to look up. Never mind. He decided to look up. God, take me now. I, I don't know. I'm bored. Head can do a full 360. Yeah, the arm. You know what? That arm gets to stay off. I don't care right now. I don't like to do a full 360 with the head, though, because if you look in there, you can see the joint his head's connected to, just barely. And whenever I spin the whole head, the joint turns around, and I can see the back of the joint of the head, and it bugs me, because there's just a hole back there. I'm going to need the beam saber for a second. Head can look down that far. That does not look appropriate. It's a good thing he has that chest piece in the way. His waist can not really turn side to side, but he can do a full 360. Whoa, look at that! And he gets a bit of an ab crunch. It's hard to tell. You know, turn him to the side. He can't really do an ab crunch. He gets little articulation. As um, the skirt pieces kind of move, I don't know. His He doesn't have a butt flap. I feel like he really should. Like, that's something they could have done, but... If I actually extend the legs out like that, you can see that the butt flap is actually a whole piece and it's connected to the leggings. I'll tell you about that hole in a second right there. <laughs> Leg can bend back that far. The butt flap kind of prevents it. Leg can bend up that far, not too far. Can bend that far. Can bend that far up. Hole. This piece actually is also, I think, no, it's not. Never mind. Leg can go, I mean, foot can go down that far. Holy crap, I've never done that before with him. It looked like it was about to pop off. Holy crap, he can do a... Zaku kick! I, I did that in one of my other videos and ended up breaking it. Uh, yeah, and uh, there's, a I guess, a little bit of articulation. These shouldn't really be turn but you can if you want the backpack actually comes off i just didn't want to know if i should include that as an accessory or not as you can see you just kind of put it in there and then you slide down so if anyone makes a dead meme out of that i will slap you overall this is a great model kit i would not actually suggest this for beginners actually i may be but if you want good articulation i wouldn't suggest getting this model kit even I have to admit that it's my first model kit, but even I have to disim. I have to. I have to say things about it that I don't want to say in front of it. I'm sorry, but I know you're beautiful. Now at a store, I believe you can get this guy for like 15 bucks, but I went on to the USA Gundam store today to check out how much he might be on there, just to find some pricing for everyone. And this guy is actually like 15 or 16 bucks on there, but. 
Sadly, I did not check shipping and all that, so he might be around 20 bucks. And that's how much I remember him being, I think, when I got him first, but I don't remember. Overall, though, I'd say this guy is a great model kit. It comes with plenty of accessories, and I just love these bright colors. When I got him, he reminded me of the original RX-78. And this was really the guy who got me started out on all my model kits. If it wasn't for this model kit, I would not be doing model kits review to this day. God, I remember building this thing. I was so proud, and I had him next to my room every night I went to bed. And I'd look at it, and I'd be like, I'm happy I built that. Oh my god, there's another sticker in his headpiece. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, this guy was a great model kit. I'm really glad I got him. He was my first one, and it's hard to believe that now because of this guy, I have, like, 58 different model kits. I don't think it's 58. I think it's 54, but, yeah. So, in a way, you guys should be thinking this guy for my videos and all that right now. So, be grateful he exists. And that's all. Um... I'd go into more detail about this model kit. For example, on the box, it says, say, Siori's mobile suit. I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's the main character's mobile suit. I think. I don't remember. Sadly, though, I don't have the instructions, and if you had the instructions with you, they come with a little description of him on them, but I don't. Well, anyways, before I go, I might as well say this now. <laughs> This model kit was great, and I want to say goodbye. So thank you all for watching this video today, and syrup.